UK Power Networks supplies electricity to about a third of the UK's population through London, the east and the southeast of England. And one of our major commitments is to look after our vulnerable customers. And I led a trial to trial a new service offering to customers for people who are experiencing power cuts that we think might last for a couple of hours that we will then offer them a backup battery solution to power their essential medical equipment. Our customers will be experiencing a power cut. They will call into our call centre who will then recognise whether they are a Category 3 vulnerable customer. The call centre will then call our office here in central London and ask if we have availability to go and drop one of the power units to them. If we have, they will call the customer back and offer them one of the power units for them to say yes or no whether they want one. Throughout this project, we actually tried three different types of battery units for our customers. They were generally all about the same size. We looked for around the one kilowatt hour size because that meant it was light enough for one person to carry it, which was really important for the logistics for our operatives. The Clayton Power Unit for us came out on top and is the one we've chosen to roll out as we expand our service to a 24-hour service, 365 days a year. The key thing that made it work for us was that it had a built-in RCD for enhanced electrical safety. Our power units are kept on charge here at our local office in central London. They're kept on charge all the time, so they're readily available to go at a moment's notice. We then unplug them and take them out to one of the vehicles we've got available here in central London for one of the team to then drop off to our vulnerable customer. Uh, at the start of 2023, we entered into a new five-year regulatory period called Rio ED2. And as part of that, we have a set budget called the Network Innovation Allowance that we can use for trialing new products and services and technologies on the network to help us improve. So this trial was funded through the Network Innovation Allowance, and it means that all the learnings can be shared across all other networks and anyone else who's interested to learn about what we've done. It's been great to be able to share the learnings and successes of this trial with other networks who I believe are taking steps to follow in our step, which is really exciting. <laughs>